Hi friends, welcome to this section. Today we will learn about diode. So, let's start. First thing, why it name as diode? Because in diode, there are two terminal. One is anode and one another is cathode. Dia means two. There are two electrodes. So it is known as diode. There are two types of diode. One is signal diode, another one is power diode. The signal diode are used in electronics device and power power diode are in used in electrical device. Signal diode are low power device. Power diode are high power. This current rating and voltage rating very low. And power diode are current and voltage rating is high. Both the signal diode and power diode have PN junction. But but the difference is their construction. So we will see it later. Uh, now let's move to the signal diode first. For a signal diode, we take two types of semiconductor, one is P-type and another is N-type. In P-type semiconductor, there is greater concentration of holes and here the holes are called majority charge carrier and electrons are called minority charge carrier. And in the N region, there is greater concentration of electron. So, here the electrons are called majority charge carrier and holes are called minority charge carrier. To form a diode, physical contact between P and N type region is made. The three electrons in N material diffuse across the junction into P material. Diffusion of each electron from N to P leaves a positive charge behind the N region near the junction. And similarly, uh, diffusion of each pole uh, at N region leaves a negative charge behind the P region. This region is called depletion layer. Now come to the forward pulsing. We take a battery or DC source and connect the positive terminal to P type semiconductor and the negative terminal connect to the N type semiconductor. The positive terminal of the battery shock the electron from the P material and leaving a hole there. And the electron travel to N region and get neutralized, so the uh, depletion region gets reduced. Due to the depletion layer, due to the reduction of depletion layer, a current is flowing. Opposite, opposite of the flow of electron. So, this is called forward biasing. Next is we connect the negative terminal to the P type semiconductor and positive terminal to the N type semiconductor. The negative terminal increases the electron concentration of P type semiconductor as depletion layer and the positive terminal um, get increase the concentration of the holes at n type semiconductor so that the depletion there with is increase so there is no further conduction occur so this is called as reverse biasing mode so now come to the power diode power diode are differs in structure from the signal diode because it required suitable for high voltage and high current application if the semiconductor have lightly broke layer one side, then it required large breakdown voltage, which is applicable in power diode. So it consists a heavily doped N plus substrate diffused in lightly doped N minus layer to form an anode of power diode. This is the main difference between the power diode and signal diode. The function of the N layer 
is to absorb the depletion layer of the reverse pairs in P plus N minus in junction of J1. The breakdown voltage of the um, of the diode is depend upon the thickness of the N layer. If more N minus layer thickness, then greater the breakdown voltage voltage and vice versa. But the draw, main drawback of the N minus layer is that it added extra ohmic resistance to the diode. So a large forward voltage drop occurs. 